most of what I've talked about until now has been fMRI data analysis. And if you recall, MRI data comes to us off the scanner in the form of volumes. I once compared these to Rubik's cubes, and all the smaller cubes inside of that cube are called voxels. Each voxel contains a single number representing the intensity of that voxel. For T1 weighted or structural images, this determines the boundary between white matter and gray matter from cerebral spinal fluid. In T2 weighted images, it represents more active voxels compared to less active voxels. This is fine for most fMRI analyses. However, voxels have certain issues. For one, a single voxel can encompass information from two anatomically distinct areas. For example, if a single voxel encompasses two distinct gyri, this can make localization of fMRI activation much less accurate. Another problem is that with voxels and volumetric data, it's much harder to estimate structural properties, such as gray matter thickness and gray matter volume. To address these problems, we're going to use FreeSurfer, a program that reconstructs the cortical surface from a three-dimensional volume. The reconstruction process converts the volume from 3D voxels to 2D triangles. The points of the triangles are called vertices, and the lines connecting them are called edges. Each vertex contains numbers indicating gray matter volume and thickness, as well as other surface measurements. These surfaces can then be inflated. This allows you to better visualize where fMRI activations and gray matter differences are located along the gyri and sulci of the brain. In FreeSurfer terms, the cortex is parcellated according to atlas boundaries, and the white matter and subcortical structures are segmented into distinct regions. We'll use these terms later when discussing FreeSurfer output files. For each of these parcellations and segmentations, different numbers are calculated, such as thickness and volume. You can export these to tab-delimited text files and then analyze them. In the next video, we'll be going over how to install FreeSurfer on your machine and review the output of the FreeSurfer directory structure. I'll see you soon. Okay, free surfer ending, take one. In the next video, whoa, my voice cracked. In the next video, we'll be...